How to write a poem. Theory number sixty-two. The beginning should eat the eyes. It's the part of the movie where you step into line at the bodega with Our Lady of the Sponge Curlers. She's buying toilet paper and Mahatma rice. This is her life, and you happen to ease into it at the wooden lull between explosions. You could also begin while she's watching her husband drop the scotch he sucked for days, hear the glass break, magnificent rain over the linoleum. If you are still mouthless, use seraphim and penumbra. Both will drape the frame in velvet, pearl the hems with high art, and smart girl words that hide. God, please, God, don't let me flinch, fail, fall into the dark. A mention of Babel or blackberries wouldn't hurt either. The question of where to snap the line at its finest edge can freeze the brain with dread. The blade must be sharp enough to have the moon and the dark clutter of sky. Ignore this for the moment. There is nothing left except the flutter of wings beneath the stabbing. The woman before the stove, stirring rice and wishing death. The river outside her window, how it glosses after rain, not like mirrors or a polished lens, simply water falling. Dark.